What's good world? Welcome to Fresh Tech TV and today we're going to be talking about the Neura headphones. So what makes these headphones special in any kind of way? You know, normally headphones just provide a good amount of sound for music or movies, and they're pretty straightforward, and they have been the same for quite some time now. What sets these apart is the fact that they're a little bit smarter than most. So to give you guys a backdrop on what these headphones are all about and what makes them special is the fact that when you look at them at first glance, of course, you notice that there are ear tips as well as an over-ear design. Uh, so the, to break down the reasoning for that is because the outside driver, the bigger driver that goes over your ear is for the bass and low end sounds and the earbud that's inside goes in your canal and that's for your mids and highs. So that way you're able to get a very well balanced bass heavy punchy sound without you know muddying up the mids or the highs. Another thing that makes these special is the fact that they are personally tuned to how your ears listen to sound. So when you first put these on, you actually go through a calibration test on the application and it has a series of sounds and noises, beeps and boops, and it listens to how your ear reacts to those sounds. So to give you guys a very low end explanation of this, when sound travels through your canal and hits your eardrum, uh, another sound is reverberated back out and the, the feedback is what these headphones listen for. So there's a microphone built into the earbud that listens to how your ear reacts to different highs, mids and lows, and actually personalizes the output of the headphones based on how your ears adapt to sound. Which makes these headphones kind of revolutionary because normally it's been one size fits all. I mean, when you go and get a pair of Beats, my pair of Beats are gonna be the same as yours. Or when I go and get a pair of Bose Quiet Comfort 35s, they're gonna be the exact same as yours. So these are truly meant for you and you alone. So all of our ears are very different. Maybe my right ear is better at, you know, hearing low end frequencies and my left ear is better at high end frequencies. Maybe I've had, you know, some type of hearing loss due to, uh, you know, bass heavy music and going to a lot of concerts when I was younger. Uh, but these actually listen for how your specific ears adapt to sound and how they react to certain sounds going into your ear. As a result of all that madness and all that tech inside these headphones, it makes for quite an experience. Um, and if you go anywhere else and look up reviews of these headphones and look up reactions to these headphones, you'll notice that there's a kind of uniform reaction and that it's pretty mind blowing when you first listen to it, the difference between generic and immersive. So in typical fashion, I'm gonna be giving you guys my review of these headphones, first starting off with the bad and ending on the positive note and then also giving you my final verdict. So starting off with the things that I do not like about these headphones, first and foremost is the fact that they aren't collapsible. Um, so they do come with a carrying case, which is nice, but they don't fold up. So the carrying case is kind of big. Um, I would like to have seen some type of foldability and make it a little bit more portable, being that it's in the same realm as the Quiet Comfort 35s and the Beat Studios, which are both foldable and more compact. And the only other thing that I don't like about these headphones is the fact that there is a built-in proprietary charging port. Uh, now at first glance, it looks like a mini USB port when I first saw it, I was like, man, that's kind of antiquated. Why would they put a mini USB in there? Um, but at second glance, it's definitely a little bit different and you have to purchase their unique charging cables. Now, of course it comes with one in the box, um, but if you have different devices like I do and you want one that's USB-C on the end, one that's lightning, um, one that has inline controls, you're gonna have to pay a little bit extra money for that. Um, but of course these are wireless, so there's no need to plug them in. It just would have been nice to see something that's more universal. So that way the cost of the cables could have been halved. If you buy them from them directly, they're 20 bucks a pop. And if you want the cable with the inline controls, it's gonna be 40. Uh, so that's not cheap at all, but um, if you get these, plan on using them wirelessly because you don't wanna to have to pay extra money for cables. And now to move on to the things that I like about these headphones, and it's quite a long list. First off, the comfort. So I'm one to like very breathable ear cups, and these are made from a, a rubbery latex kind of material, so that's known to normally not be able to breathe, but the people at Neurophone thought about that issue. So when bass is pushed through the bigger driver on the ear cup, it actually sucks cool air from the bottom while pushing hot air through the top. So the sides of the ear cup, as well as the inside is ventilated so that way it does a good job of keeping a very modest temperature with inside the air cup not making it too hot or heavy another thing about these is that they are quite heavy um, but it doesn't really translate when having it on your head for long periods of time I don't know if it's attributed to the design of these how they have the latex pivot point on the ear cup or or what it is but over long periods of time it doesn't really feel heavy and it doesn't weigh down on your neck speaking of the materials used it is metal and high quality rubber so it doesn't feel cheap in any way they don't give the illusion of weight it does feel very hefty um, and something that's substantial, something that's worth $399. Hands down, the biggest pro 
to these headphones is the fact that they have the immersion mode and the personalized audio. So these would be just like any other headphones if they didn't offer the personalization and adapt to how your ears hear sound. And it's not something I can really translate through video and it's something that I think everyone should probably experience at least once. Uh, with immersion mode, you can actually move the slider up to the left making it more immersive and the higher you go up the more bass there is essentially so it goes all the way up the highest setting is front row of a concert when i had them cranked up to 100 percent no audio leaked out no one could really tell what i was listening to now they don't come with active noise cancellation but given the fact that there are two levels of isolation from the in ear bud as well as the outer ear cup there's no sound leaking in either another pro for me is the fact that it comes with a really nice sturdy carrying case so if you're traveling with it you don't have to worry about these being affected at all inside the case it's a hard case it comes with different rubber accents for shock absorption as well as different magnets for the class they are magnetized on the rim of the case as well and everything just fits well it feels quality and premium down to the stitching the little bits of leather it's a nice case the last thing that i'd say is one of the pros for these headphones is the application being that it's the brains of the headphones the fact that it's very intuitive and simple very minimal and doesn't offer any clutter no advertisements it is pretty seamless even if you're a low-end tech user you can definitely get by with this application and it'll help you set them up from start to finish and make sure it's personalized for you and now down to my final verdict on these headphones the fact that they're merging both earbud and headphone to make a personalized audio solution with the integrated software and machine learning the different microphones that they have in here these are definitely the smartest pair of headphones i've ever owned they were awarded with the most innovative award at ces 2018 and it was for good reason i'm happy to see something like this being brought to consumer electronics and the audio department because for so long it's always been one size fits all and now that you can actually have a personalized audio experience i don't foresee myself using any other type of headphones in the future i'd say that it's worth the extra few bucks to go for these over some bose quiet comfort 35s being that it is tailored specifically for you it's like going to buy a suit that's either tailored or not tailored you're going to pay the extra money to have it tailored for you specifically because it'll look better versus something that is just generalized for everyone but that's about it for me guys it's been a pleasure as usual thank you for watching if you like this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button also if you want to see more tech videos be sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so that way you know when my next video goes live. Until next time, stay fresh. Peace.